depending on when you watch this, we now have Power Plant added to the game. I know it's not new for PC, but it's going to be new for us on the console side. So we're going to go through not only uh, different areas to loot here on uh, the Power Plant Monument, but also how to do the main puzzle. So we're going to go through and show you just an overview here very quickly. You have the cooling towers, the wrecked cooling tower, the main cooling tower. Uh, you have one of the puzzle buildings here. We'll just call this puzzle building one or the wheelhouse building because it has this crank wheel here. Uh, but then we have the main puzzle building here where the loot is sitting inside of. And then we have the other uh, switch building on the outside here, which is right next to the cooling towers and one of the main entrances. Okay, so uh, what you're going to need for this is a green card, a blue card, and a fuse. And you do need some rad protection, but if you're going to stay out of the cooling towers, usually 20 um, is going to do you just fine for most places here. Okay, so uh, the first thing you need to do to do the puzzle here is uh, come up here and flick the switch on the generator here. Now, this is not on a timer, but what you're going to have to do is run over here. We have another switch on the back side here that is on a timer, and then we'll have to run through and get into the main puzzle building here in the center of the screen in time to use the green card, and then we'll work through the rest of the puzzle here. So this is a great monument. Um, it's not high tier. Obviously, you get a red card here, but you don't have red card loot. But this is just big enough where you've got a lot of different loot uh, scattered all over the place. But also, it's not going to attract a lot of the big boys necessarily. A lot of the big boys will be hanging out on oil rig, cargo ship, and launch sites. So uh, this can be a nice place to stack up the loot. And let's not forget, you don't even need to be running red card monuments. You can just get the red card and then go to the bandit camp and cash it out for scrap. Uh, you can do that today. Uh, okay, so going over here to the other switch building, we're going to go ahead and flick this on. And then you can see both of these are green, which means you can now hit the timer. And now you have to run over to the main puzzle building. And there are two entrances, one's in the sewer and one's on top. Actually, there's, I think, believe there's two entrances on top here on the surface. Uh, so there's lots of different sneaky places to get in on the main building. And that's, again, what makes power plants so good is there's a lot of good verticality and uh, places to escape. So if you're running solo, this can be a great uh, monument to be running all the time. Okay, so we're going to go in on this door here. You swipe the old green card. Once you come in, I don't think we have these light switches yet. These that just flash yellow are just lights. They aren't actually a part of the puzzle system itself. But if you look down here on the main floor, we have generators down here. I'm always, okay, you know what? Let's go around this way because I think the switch is back here because I, I always forget it. So coming into this door, take a right, then come around to the back of these generators here, and then you'll see another switch. It needs to be green for you to do the rest of the puzzle upstairs. Now, you can jump on top of these generators. There's even some boxes back here to go up. So there's multiple ways to get up to the second floor. You can also take the stairs. By the way, the secret tunnel entrance does uh, spill into this side as well. So yeah, it is still a green card entrance. Uh, but let's go ahead and use the main stairs back here. It's another green card entrance. And then we have some boxes back here, but then you can take these stairs. And don't forget, there's little peaky holes in the windows, so people can definitely split your wig coming upstairs. Right here is another generator floor with some more peak downs. You can see outside a lot of great places to uh, engage other players. And then once you get up to the third story here, you're going to come around the corner here. Here's the blue entrance. You can see it's not lit yet, so if you follow the cables, you'll come back around here, and this is the spot for your fuse. Please excuse my, uh, what do you call it, 100 stack? <laughs> We've super stacked it. And now this is open. I thought we had a switch, but we don't. And now you can use the blue card to get into the main loot room. You can see some military crates that cycle in and out of here. Here's the other entrance on the other side. And if you go upstairs, there should be a cluster of more brown boxes slash military boxes. It just depends on what the role is for the loot table. And over here is the red card. Don't forget, you can sell that over at Bandit Camp. So another really good thing to do here is to camp around. Uh, inside of this monument, you can really catch a lot of people slipping, uh, especially at the recycler. You can hear it going off, but you can go to the rooftop and camp out there and wait for this thing to cycle back. This actually was a really great place to come in with a helicopter. Still is, but these grates didn't used to be here, so you used to be able to skip the entire puzzle and fly in. Uh, but still, it's a really good, great place to come up to the top here and then kind of camp out, listen for the noises of the recycler, and then swoop down on somebody unsuspecting. And if you have another player with you, you can double jump up here to camp out and wait for people to come through. 
it's a really good place to uh, to post up. Okay, so now that we have the main puzzle solved here, let's go ahead and show you the uh, the main cooling towers. So over here, the destroyed cooling tower is very nice. Don't underestimate this because it has plenty of loot. But please note that you are going to need a full-blown rad suit for this because you will start to take damage as you go in. Uh, but there are lots of little sneaky places to hide loot inside of here. You can see all the wreckage inside here. You can see some barrels. Be on the lookout for brown boxes and military crates. And also, it has a nice secret entrance. It's a fused ladder right here. And a lot of times you'll see some crates up here in these outside pieces here. And then the destroyed cooling tower. We have a mill crate right here. Boom, you're good to go. We have some more boxes and it looks like a barrel on the side. Again, you'll see some rolls for these, but um, there's decent loot here for sure. Uh, we have a brown box over here. And if you look in the destroyed cooling tower for the lavender bush, if you go here and crouch and kind of ride the side of the wall so you don't take too much damage, this is one of the pipes that go away from the cooling tower, and this will take you up to another great place to camp out if you're waiting for things to recycle. But also, it has a nice little treat up here in the wedge. If you look just past this last hump here, we've got another military crate and a little peak hole. So you can loot this bad boy. The only way in is back through the tunnel we just went through. And then you can see up into one of the main buildings here. You cannot cross through here. Believe me, we've tried. Uh, but this could be another great place to not only wait for things to recycle, but if you look right here, you'll see this is the main puzzle building. So you can wait for somebody to come up here and use their card and then give them the old Uno Dos Trace. And then if you're good at jumping, like I'm not, you could, oh my goodness, I just missed it twice with admin. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if you land right here, you can make the jump over to the rooftop and then kind of work over on the balcony as well. Boom, and kind of just, just wait for the movement, right? Wait in the pipes, listen for noises, be a trapped or a spider. So there you go. That's the main rundown for the power plant puzzles and some quick little secrets we have here. Um, and yeah, a few more hidden, so we'll, we'll cover those in future videos. But there you go. That's the power plant that has now been added to Rust Console Edition. Bingo.